I am in the engine room and uh, I am changing out the battery charger that charges the engine batteries. Um, now I've actually already done the work, uh, but I'll just show you what I did and uh, you can follow along and see what was done. The charger that was in there was a guest charger and I wasn't all that keen on it. It was quite old. So I've swapped it out for a brand new 40 amp Pro Mariner three bank charger. Uh, I only have two banks, but um, I do have my dinghy davit that requires battery power. And I have the idea that I might want to put it on a separate battery at some point, in which case I will need to, um, to add a third battery to this uh, area. And so the three bank charger allows me to do that at some point. So this is my new Pronautic 12 volt 40 amp charger. It actually hasn't been powered up yet. This is the AC power that's coming in and it was actually run from the old uh, charger and we've just run the new power into the, uh, into the charger. And uh, you can see I've got that white cable coming out as my temperature sensor, which plugs in like a, a Cat 3. Uh, and then there are the two positive leads and then one ground, which I have zip tied all the way through here. Comes down and along, down to two uh, breakers that I installed. I put in breakers as opposed to fuses just so I could shut them off easily. Uh, these are 50 amp breakers and I'm using an eight gauge cable. It's just basically because of the run. It's probably a little overdone, but uh, I'd rather have a little thicker cable than too thin um, so that it can withstand any heat. And then I've just run the cables in to the positive leads on the battery. Now, because the ground is common on the boat, I actually ran the ground over to here. And this is a common ground that's in, in the boat. So both battery terminals will effectively be connected to that ground. And that's pretty much it for the installation. You, uh, we, we screwed the, the unit to the wall back at the back of the engine room. We have tried to be as neat as we can with our wiring and uh, run it along so that we're able to shut off the power. As you can see right now, these breakers are tripped so they won't be receiving any charge even if I did charge the, uh, or turn the uh, charger on. Uh, but uh, when the time is right, I will switch those breakers over by, by basically just pushing them. That makes them on. Um, and so we'll trip them for now. Uh, but, uh, and then we're hooked up to the batteries, two separate banks. And then that's our temperature sensor lead to one of the negative terminals. So I'm back down in the engine room. I've powered up my new charger and uh, you can see that I've got it set for sealed which is I've got sealed lead acid and uh, it's uh, as as I'd shown you before the breakers are tripped right now so there's there's nothing going to the batteries but uh, it's uh, set up uh, correctly and ready to go.